back to the charts for Big Boss Crypto, bringing another day trading analysis on Bitcoin and on Chainlink. Bitcoin is currently at 26k, as I predicted earlier, we're going to possibly 20k. Let's look at the chart. So if you're totally new to this channel and new to this day trading updates, I'm Big Boss Brother number 2 and the basically area that I've drawn off in the chart in green and red is volume candles which I use via the PVSRA tool totally free on TradingView and you mark off volume candles in the chart you see them here we have one so what I did was basically mark them off like this in red when we were up in 30k area because these zones always get recovered the, the zones represent open orders which hasn't been filled yet and to the downside at least we have a couple of them left we have one big here on the daily time frame from 23.8k down to 22k we haven't tapped that zone for a while we also have one at 20.5k to the downside we also have one here from 19.5k down to 17.4k but as a day trader you don't mind that just yet because we aren't close to that point right now and also on this day trading channel or series basically we have the market make structure w bottom first leg up first retrace second leg up second retrace third and final leg up and seen a double top formation and we reverse in three steps the same way as we did to the upside but just inverted so currently as I told you, we were in a double top formation when we were around the 30k area. As you can see here, when I said a uh, candle, whole candle close below these, the point 29.5k on the four hour time frame or on the one hour time frame, depending on how you trade, is a confirmation of a double top formation. The next step is to the downside, and we had this one candle to the Downside here at 26.688 was my target initially. We went a bit below that. And currently we should expect a pump to the upside to recover this volume candle right here on the daily time frame. On the 4 hour time frame we have them separated like this. But up to 28.5k and possibly even up to 29k is where we could go. To invalidate this structure we need to break this high right here at 31.8k. We're not close to that yet, but we could expect a pump to the upside right here to recover this volume candle. The next step is, however, to the downside, and the closest volume candle to the downside is at 21.9k approximately. So expect half of that at least to 29.22.9k. Sorry, is the minimal target in the next impulsive wave to the downside after we get this pump which I'm expecting to happen pretty soon. If we continue to the downside and if we don't get that retrace to the upside, we're still in wave one. So we could go all the way down to 21K and then have a retrace to the upside and continue even lower to the targets to the downside right here. So that's what I'm expecting from Bitcoin, not financial advice, but volume counts always get recovered. Looking at news events for this week, we have the jolt job openings and consumer confidence later today and tomorrow we have employment non-farm employment change pretty interesting we have some Euro eurozone news as well and uh, not a big week news wise from um, the fed but some events could shock the market so always be prepared if you're placing trades around these time frames at least so looking at the liquidation map, we can see a lot of people have been going short. They think that we're going to 9k again, or 12k as capital, il cap of crypto predicted a long time ago. We could go there, but as you know, the market moves in waves. And currently a lot of retail trades are going short. A lot of them will get liquidated if price goes to 29.5k, where we also have a volume candle. So I'm expecting a retrace could go to this zone to grab the last liquidity before moving to the downside again not financial advice but this is what the data shows and when you're trading you want to be 
data dependent. With that being said, let's take a look at Chainlink. So Chainlink looking interesting as always and day trading wise, super interesting. As you know, I've been talking about the zone from $8.5 down to $6. We've been in this zone or around this zone for over a year, a couple of spikes above and a couple of spikes below. But if you've been placing longs at $6, taking profits at $8.5, you could have making big bucks and doing the vice versa. So shorting at 8.5 and taking profits at $6. So basically swing trading. And as you can see, at six dollars we've been tapping this zone with a couple of vix as you can see right here pretty interesting and we are respecting this zone it's an accumulation zone from the whales playing mind games boring out a lot of the investors retail investors could be an idea not financial advice but we could see a big run in the next bull run because chain link is pretty interesting so as I said, I'm expecting a pump from Bitcoin and we have a couple of volume candles to recover to the upside. If you look on the four hour time frame, I marked up the zones for you. The next target to the upside is then at $6.7 for a retrace. Yeah, I forgot to say. Um, the bigger structure is looking interesting as well. We had a double top formation, first leg down, first retrace, second leg down. We're currently waiting for a second retrace, so we could have a spike to these zones right here to the downside and bottom out around $4.8. So if you're loading some longs, you could wait for it and be a little bit patient because this could be your first order entry. You could have another order placed here at $5.6 and the last order possibly at $4.8. That's what I'm doing at least, not financial advice. It's just for entertainment and educational purpose only. But that's what we could expect a pump to the upside, possibly up to this zone right here, $6.9 or $7, or possibly even higher. And then we could go to the last and final leg to the downside and wait for the double bottom formation before we wait for the pump to the upside. So target to the downside is at $5.5. That's at least what I'm waiting for. I have my orders placed in the zone. I have my first long order placed and shorts have been profit in profit at six dollars as you know and i'm gonna take some profits at 8.5 dollars that's the name of the game you do whatever you want to do this was big boss product number two have a good bond big boss out